So with chat GPT growing to 100, use, 100 million users inside of two months, makes us the fastest growing, uh, whatever you want to call it, product app in ever, faster than, you know, way, way outpacing, say, TikTok, for example. Are people are worried, am I going to lose my job to AI? And I think some of those concerns are valid, but in some ways invalid. So I'm going to just go through a couple of, uh, a couple of some of the evidence and make some recommendations as to what you should do if you are concerned about that. So uh, there's some fantastic research done by Iluna AI. Follow them on Twitter, Iluna AI. I'll put the link down below in the description. Um, yeah, the World Economic Forum predicts that AI will replace 85 million jobs by... 2025 that's two years away <laughs> um, but that it will also create 97 million jobs in the same time so it's a net gain due to AI now, the jobs that it will create are, as you can imagine related to technology so they're talking prompt engineers AI engineers data scientists AI specialists, AI trainers. Who the hell would want to be an AI trainer, right? We're all AI trainers. AI is us. Um, and then ethical people related to the, the ethical implementation of AI at organizations. Um, the jobs that are going to get lost, perhaps, uh, I think those most at risk are in the, the creative industry. So designers to an extent, fine artists, writers. Um, that's where the job losses will likely occur. Now, what I think is that you shouldn't be worried. If you're a designer, if you're an artist, if you're a writer, you're not going to be, re be replaced by AI if you use AI. So I just got a couple of points here. Use ChatBT to make yourself more efficient and outcompete everyone else, uh, and then you'll be able to. Con you won't. Your job won't be replaced. You'll actually become more valuable because you'll be more efficient. Secondly, don't worry too much about the encroachment of AI on your job if you're in one of those sectors. AI we have to remember is not actually AI, right? AI doesn't exist. So you might, you know, the experiment where you, you get a crow in a cage. So you've got a crow, right? And you put in front of the crow a wire, a piece of, a thin piece of wire and a test tube with a little bit of meat at the bottom of it. And what the crow is able to do is figure out that in order to get the meat from the bottom of the test tube, he can take the wire and like bend the end of it and create a kind of like a hook, stick it inside the test tube, fork the meat out and eat it, right? Computers can't do that. They don't do that because they're not intelligent. To get a computer to do the same thing, we'd have to tell it what to do. Computers only do what we tell them what to do. So we'd have to walk it through every single step. So AI is really, um, you know, I mean, we can credit chat GPT as being like an incredibly efficient way to extract data off of the internets, the interwebs. But um, as we all know, we created the internet and all the data that's on it. So it's not doing anything more than just really efficiently pulling data that's or, that's already been created it's that's not intelligence that's data harvesting i guess if you like um it's you know google search on steroids but that isn't actually intelligence so what i would do to prepare for the encroaching uh revolution of ai is work with it if you feel your job might be at risk, if you feel you, 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 your work is the kind of work that could be replaced by artificial intelligence, I would use it in your work. 
bring it into what you do in your processes, make it work for you rather than against you. And do that quick, uh, learn how to use it well, and make sure you're using it better than your competitors. Um, and then if you're, you know, if you're into data science, then you're sweet, because uh, there'll be uh, 85 million new jobs created for for IT people over the next two years due to AI. Thank you for listening. Make sure you subscribe if you find this interesting and, and you'll see the next episode.